Hi guys, welcome to unit six. We are halfway through the course and in unit six I'm going to give you some tips on how to get ahead, how to improve your grade, and what to really focus on right now. So you'll see that in unit six we've freed up a little time here so you can work on those final projects. Really take time to work on those this week. They are worth 150 points and in this course that is 27 percent of your grade. This is a make it or break it final project. I'm here to help you though. So if you have questions along the way, make sure that you reach out to me, preferably sooner than later. You'll notice in your final project you have two options. One of them is to actually plan and conduct a health flare in your community. That is option A. And then you get to write a reflective paper on it. Option B, if actually conducting a health fair doesn't sound so appealing to you, um, or if that's not appropriate in your community, you can do more of a... Uh, planning kind of project which is mostly based on your textbook. So option A, let's review that real quick here. So if you're more the get out and do it kind of variety of person, you can conduct a health fair. You need to get at least eight different vendors to uh, hopefully participate, but if not at least reach out to them and get some vendors to participate in your health fair. Your actual fair needs to be two hours in duration. You need to include the registration list of all your participants. So as people come in the door, make sure they sign in. Um, you also need to include some digital photos of your event and make sure that before your participants leave, they conduct a survey. You get to design that survey and hopefully you'll base that off the material you've learned in this course. And you also need to have a signed statement from the manager or administrator of the site verifying that you actually conducted the fair. This is a good portion of your score here, and then you get to write a reflective paper with the instructor's instructions here. If you're wondering how your paper is going to be evaluated, it will be evaluated on the course rubric used for all papers in this course. If you're needing a review of where that is, I'm going to show you in one second. So if I go back to Unit 1, I'll see that here's my homework assignment rubric. So for all papers, they are evaluated based off this rubric and it goes over the elements of the paper, the support and analysis, which is the research you used to support your paper, that you documented your sources appropriately, you followed appropriate APA formatting guidelines, and your paper was well organized with appropriate diction syntax and mechanics. If you have any questions about what that means, just reach out to me at any time. For some of you, you're thinking that this health fair is not exactly what you'd hoped for, so you get option B. In option B, you get to write a paper that incorporates all the elements of our text and learning assignments from units 1 through 11. This outline goes through each element that needs to be in your paper. It also gives you a reference as to where we studied the concept. So for example, initial assessment You'll see that we studied that in Unit 2. You'll see that actual uh, program designs, we studied those in Unit 5. So you'll see a reference back to each unit where you can review the key concepts for each section of your final paper. This is really a chance for you to check your understanding of the cumulative knowledge that you've learned in this course and possibly other courses as well. So it's a chance for you to get feedback on, could I actually plan and assess and conduct and carry out a well-structured program that has some scientific research support regarding what works and what analytical elements do I need to put into this. So even though it's time consuming, it's definitely worth it to check your overall understanding. A couple additional items this week. You have uh, chapter 7, reading on planning, implementation, and evaluation of health programs. We'll provide a separate lecture on that in just a moment here. You have your unit 6 discussion and your unit 6 quiz. You can see that your Unit 6 discussion is based off of behavioral theory. That is from your assigned reading in Chapter 7 for this unit, so make sure you take a peek at that reading before you attempt this question here. Uh, this is a really interesting question because it asks you to apply your learning and think about how would I actually use this if somebody needs to change um, a behavior or a group needs to change a behavior regarding health and wellness practices. I'm also going to go over this a little bit in terms of an example of practical application in our second lecture for this unit. As always, if you have questions, feel free to reach out to me. 
I hope that this first lecture has helped you direct your focus and know what to look at as we begin our final projects and go through Unit 6. Thank you.